Welcome to the first lesson of 3D Excel map. Uh, in this uh, exercise, you will get to know where to find the map and uh, we will create the first map. Excel Power Map can be found on the Insert tab in the middle of the ribbon and it's called 3D Map. Uh, the previous name was actually Power Map, but the project changed its name uh, and now it's uh, called the Three Dimensional Map and uh, it's very easy to start creating uh, a map with the tool it's enough you place uh, your mouse cursor on a, a table in excel and then you just hit open 3d map we want to do it like this uh, because uh, there is one better way that will uh, prevent you from having some problems when refreshing the data set you you're um, creating the map on and uh, the first recommended thing before you start uh, creating the map would be creating a table uh, you can use the shortcut con ctrl and t uh, to create uh, a table and then when you have a table object within Excel sheet uh, it is recommended then to create the first 3D map. After a while Excel will open a brand new window for this tool. You can see that we have in here the window for um, 3D map but also below you can find the normal Excel worksheet. Uh, you can find a ribbon and what we are mostly interested in is to use the location shelf where you define what is your um, field name from your table and what is the dictionary option that refers to this uh, geographic role. In our scenario it has been done automatically which means the country is uh, responsible for the country region level and we now see a lot of dots for Europe countries. But reporting on maps is not only about uh, where something is happening, but also what is the amount, what is the number. And uh, in our scenario, we have the sales values that we can use to show uh, how much we sold uh, within these countries. You can use uh, a lot of options to navigate through this window. You can see that we start from the three-dimensional earth view uh, and you can use your mouse, scroll in and scroll out. You can also use uh, zoom in and zoom out uh, buttons uh, on, on the map and uh, you can start analyzing the data. If you are not sure what uh, country are you referring on the map, you can zoom in and just hover over a column and you can see uh, the my country of origin Poland and the sales amounts that we reached in this country. On the screen you, you see a lot of options that you might close uh, as regards the interface. For example, uh, the legend, uh, you can use the delete button to remove it. You have also some kind of slides that are called the tour and later we will create more maps uh, in, in one uh, Excel. So you will see a lot of slides in here, but still you can close it. And also the field list, uh, you can also close it and you start uh, working only with uh, the layer pane uh, and you have a lot of uh, more space for your map then. There are many more options in there, but we will get to know now just uh, one of them, uh, which is map labels, which allows you to see a lot of text on your map uh, to see what country uh, you are looking at uh, without uh, the need to uh, hover over the uh, column to see the, um, the label. How can you be sure that you have shown all of your data on the map? Next to the location shelf, you can see the location confidence report, which shows you how much uh, power map is sure that uh, all of the data is translated properly on some uh, uh, geographic areas. And we can see in here that although we have two exclamation marks, everything uh, looks uh, properly. It is not always the case because sometimes the data you send to the uh, Bing maps 
uh, is not translated properly or is not found. Uh, maybe you have some errors. Maybe something has not been defined uh, in a way the Bing Map service will understand that. And then you will see some kind of errors and problems uh, in here. And this is actually very important because you might have some data in your table that will not be shown on a map. Uh, but in our case, we have all of the data in here. And uh, this is the map we have uh, created at the moment uh, and now we will think how can we add some more data to the map. You can now either minimize uh, the power map window or you can just close it, it doesn't matter. Uh, and when you go back to the normal worksheet you will see just uh, additional uh, text box which is the only place in Excel where the software informs you that uh, you have used a 3D uh, map and you can expect something, uh, something in there. And now we can move to the second worksheet, which is called 2020, where we can find the sales data for the next year. And I will copy the data with Ctrl C and paste the data below. You can see that my table has expanded, which means uh, the new data has been added to to the table and now we can go back to the 3D map uh, to see whether the data is already in there. Uh, when you hit open 3D map you can open the um, tool we have created and now we go back once again to, uh, to the 3D map uh, to have a look what happened and Actually, nothing has changed because the refresh, the data refreshing process is manual, which means we have expanded the uh, source table for, uh, for the map and now we need to hit refresh the data. That is why we use the table option uh, because the table is uh, always keeping the same object uh, and is, uh, the map is referring all the time to, to the whole table. And since uh, now we have uh, added uh, two years, we can add also a category uh, and on this shelf we will use the year uh, to create a, a column chart that will distinguish between the year 2019 and 2020. Stacked, the default one uh, is uh, not the recommended chart in this scenario, but the uh, column, uh, the clustered column chart is a better solution where you can compare now the years uh, and the change over time on a column chart with this 3D map. This is it as regards the first exercise and a short introduction to this uh, three-dimensional map. And uh, when you send a file uh, or share this file uh, with uh, your audience, with your colleagues, they are supposed to click also open 3D map and uh, they will find the tour that we have created for them to analyze the data on a map. Uh, one last thing, this map requires internet connection since all of the uh, geographic uh, backgrounds are downloaded from the internet. So if you don't have uh, access to the internet, you might expect an error <coughs> when opening the map.